Happy Easter week. I'm so glad that you're here to join me. Today I want to talk about Jesus' suffering and the glory of heaven. Well, hey y'all, welcome to this moment. I'm Jamie. I just am so excited that this is Easter week. Um, I think that Easter and spring are just, they just go together so well. Not because of Easter bunnies and pastel colors or anything like that, but because Easter is all about making things new, about how Jesus made, um, gave us new life through his sacrifice on the cross. And when you look around at spring and all of these new flowers are blooming, and it's just so exciting. And Easter is also exciting. I love Easter traditions. So I want you to tell me down there in uh, the comments, tell me what your favorite Easter traditions are. I'd love to hear them. I know that some of mine are Easter pictures. I love Easter pictures and I love Easter egg hunts. And I'm super excited this year because I'm going to try making tomb rolls with my girls. Um, what you do is you make yeast rolls and you put a marshmallow inside. That's kind of like Jesus going into the tomb and you bake them. And when you cut them open, the marshmallow is gone. And it's like when Jesus left the tomb empty. It's a really cool way to talk to kids about the resurrection and what that really means for us. And I'm super excited to do that, especially with my oldest daughter, because she's kind of into baking and doing things like that. So tell me what your favorite Easter traditions are. Also, if you have been keeping up with me, um, I started a series. You can check that out up there. And um, I will be actually starting, we'll be doing video two in the series next week. I'm going to be focusing just on Easter this week. So if you're looking for the series, you can catch that next week when I'll be talking about what it means to really be a princess. And I'm really excited about that too. So we got lots of really cool stuff coming up for the channel. But today I want to talk to you about the suffering of Jesus. And I was actually on social media today and a friend of mine posted John 3.16. And she was talking about how she had a blister. And that blister was reminding her of what Jesus went through on the cross. Because even though this blister is not anything close, it, it hurts. And she rem she remembers that Jesus suffered and he suffered tremendous pain, not just a blister here or a bruise there. He suffered tremendous pain for our salvation. And I just thought that was really cool for her to bring up. And I want to read a verse for you. Um, I'm going to be reading from Romans, Romans 8. Verse 17 says, Now if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings in order that we may also share in his glory. So I think that's a really cool verse for us to look at when we're talking about suffering. Um, because I think this world is, it, it's just a fact of human life because we are human and this world is broken that we are going to have suffering and Jesus came into this world and he was completely human and completely God simultaneously which like blows my mind um, but he understood what that suffering was because he was living in this broken world just like we do and so just to kind of give you a little bit of background on me I I have some things that I struggle with one of which is anxiety and depression I struggle with, I have struggled with that for the large, a large portion of my life. Um, even when I was a kid, I was very anxious. I wanted to make sure other people were happy. I wanted to make sure everybody liked me. Was I saying the right thing? And I know that that's kind of a normal thing for kids, but it, it was kind of an obsession for me. Um, but I struggle with that. And that is one of the areas that I suffer in this world. And... I do my best to overcome it and I go to my Bible and I read about fear and anxiety and worry and I try to find my joy in that but I, I still suffer but however much I suffer pales in comparison to the cross 
because what Jesus suffered for the cross was tremendous pain, physical pain that I have never had to endure. Thank God for that. And he suffered emotional pain because people were yelling at him and screaming at him, calling him names. All the while he knows, he knew, he knew in his heart that it was for them. Like, I can't imagine that kind of sacrifice, that kind of hurt and pain. Um, so our circumstances in this world, whatever suffering that we might have, pales in comparison to the suffering of the cross. But also, whatever hurts we might have are nothing compared to the glory of heaven. And we get to share in that. And I think that's just amazing that we get to enjoy the glory of heaven because we're co-heirs with Christ. Then we also get to be heirs to the glory. That's amazing. Like, it is so undeserved that it blows my mind. Um, but I also want to take a second to look at the things that we are willing to suffer for. And I think that's really interesting because I am willing to suffer for a lot of things. I am willing to work for money. I am willing to um, get up super early the day after Thanksgiving for a sale. Um, so what kinds of things are we willing to suffer for? And I think that, um, you know, we're willing to struggle for whatever it is that makes us feel better. So for some people that might be money. We struggle for um, to get home and watch that TV show. Like we struggle through frustrations with our kids because we love them. So what are we willing to struggle and suffer for? I think that's a really good question because if the answer to that is not something that makes a difference in eternity, is it really worth it? And I think that's a question that's always worth asking because I suffer for a lot of things. I struggle for a lot of things in my life. Like I will work hard so that my landscaping looks pretty good. And if you saw it right now, you might disagree with me, but that's okay. Um, it looks better than it used to and it's always improving. Um, and I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't work for things, that you shouldn't go through the hard stuff to have your home look nice or to educate your children or to get into college. I'm not saying that you shouldn't work for those things and struggle through. What I am saying is that if you are suffering in some kind of way and the reason for that suffering doesn't make a difference in eternity, then what's the point in the suffering? And I think a good example of that for me is I worry and I am anxious about so many things. That's my suffering. But the things that I worry about are not, I am not suffering something that's going to make a difference in eternity. It doesn't matter, honestly, if my neighbors think my yard looks good. Like if I am doing that to impress other people, then that doesn't really make a difference. But if I'm taking care of my yard because God has given me this place and I should be a good steward of it, then that makes a difference in eternity because it makes a difference in my relationship with God. I hope that that makes sense. Um, and I think one area that some of us are less willing to suffer in than others is sharing the gospel. I think a lot of times we get overwhelmed by what it's gonna feel like to talk to people and we're gonna feel awkward and they're not gonna like us and they're gonna disagree with us and then we're gonna have an argument and people aren't gonna be my friend anymore. And that kind of suffering, you know, if I've got to suffer people not being my friend anymore to share the gospel with them, that is a suffering that's worth taking because it makes a difference in eternity. Because I could share the gospel with them and they would have their eyes opened up to who Jesus is and then they would be able to share in the glory of heaven one day. So that suffering is worth it. And I think it's something that often just blows my mind and that I try to hold on to is that God's economy is not like our economy. When we give things away in our own economy, 
we lose them. Like we have less of it if we give it away. If I have a dozen cookies and I give my daughter two of them, I, I now have less cookies. God doesn't work that way. So if we have the gospel and we share it, we have now multiplied the kingdom because people have come to Christ. So God's glory is like that. When we share God's glory with other people, it is multiplied. It is never decreased. And I just, I think that's an awesome thing to think about in the face of suffering. And as we study the suffering of Jesus, on his way to the cross and our salvation because he decided that that suffering, that the outcome of that suffering was worth it. And the outcome of that suffering is you and me, us being with him in heaven. He decided that we were worth it. And I just, I have no words. And I hope that that has blessed you today because I feel blessed. Um, so be blessed to be a blessing and I love you so much. I will talk to you again soon. If you haven't hit that thumbs up button, please do that. Hit the subscribe button and the bell and you'll hear all about the upcoming series that we have going on. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.